One more list via Bing.com is the most searched teams, the most searched sports teams in the year 2013. So let's kick it off right now. At number one, the Dallas Cowboys, America's team, if you want to put it like that, the number two highest valued sports franchise in the United States history at 2.1 billion dollars. The Miami Heat come in at number two, though LeBron James was the, was the number one, number one, number six most searched athlete on Bing's list of the most searched athletes. If you want to see that, please do check it out on our channel, TYT Sports, a great medium. So the Miami Heat are back-to-back -back champions. LeBron James is a four-time MVP. I'm not surprised at all that the Miami Heat are up there. As a matter of fact, I thought that they would be number one because you know what? Out of anything, and we're seeing LeBron James right there, out of anything, doesn't the track record show with the NBA that when you have the villain in the NBA Finals, the ratings are better? Just my take. At number three, the New York Yankees are on this list. Again, to no surprise that Derek Jeter is the number one overall Major League Baseball most searched player. There he is right there. And the Yankees are in this list as the top searched Major League Baseball team. Let's go back to football. Number four, the New York Giants, of course, sharing the city uh, with, uh, uh, actually, they're in East Rutherford, New Jersey, so they're not sharing the city, but they are the New York Giants. Two Super Bowl wins in the last four years. Tom Coughlin, as much criticism as you want to give him, he won two Super Bowls, but the Giants are on this list. The biggest surprise, maybe for me, is that the Chicago Bears were the number five most searched team. Why? Why would you search for the Bears? What do you want to know? They have a terrible run defense. They're terrible this year in 2013, and they're barely going to make the playoffs. They probably won't make the playoffs, as a matter of fact. They have a quarterback who is probably going to get the franchise tag and will probably eh, maybe be okay with his career in Chicago, but... I'm very surprised with that. Number six, the Baltimore Ravens. Of course, they won the Super Bowl last year, gave Joel Flacco a record-breaking contract. Many people are saying that he is not worth it. Look, if he produces and they get to the playoffs, and he does just as well, and if they get those pieces back, I believe in Joel Flacco, I believe in the Baltimore Ravens, and they have a fantastic head coach. Number seven, the World Series bound yet can't execute and win it all, Detroit Tigers. I got a, love, a lot of love for Detroit. Shut up, Amir. I got a lot of love for Detroit. I love Detroit. But it's just unfortunate to see them fail every single year when it comes to the World Series. I really, I honestly thought they would win it this year. I really, really did. Um, they got rid of Prince Fielder. They got Ian Kinsler. We'll see what happens. So with that sort of track record where they have a ton of success, and by the way, they don't have Jim Leland anymore, but with that track record, the amount of success, I guess it's no surprise as well for them. Number eight, nine, number eight and number nine also surprised me. At number eight, the Miami Dolphins. You could maybe say this is built up because of the Richie Incognito, Jonathan Martin scandal, Chad Ochocinco. Granted, that was last year. He left the team. He certainly grabbed some headlines. Miami is consistently, and they have a great young quarterback with Ryan Tannehill, who is going to be very, very, very good in this league. He already is. With the Miami Dolphins, they're that team that you feel like, oh, they're that sexy, trendy pick. I can't force myself to take them on Sunday. I just can't do it. I have faith in the Dolphins to turn it around, just not obviously this year and probably not next year, but in the next three years, see a takeover. Number nine, the Atlanta Braves. They had a fantastic run all throughout the 90s, though they only produced one World Series championship. Here's the one thing for the Atlanta Braves that maybe has them as the most searched team, one of the most searched teams, the top 10 at number nine is that they're moving from Atlanta to the suburbs of, of Atlanta, and they are going to knock down Turner Field. At least I believe they're going to knock it down. I'm pretty sure the last thing I read is that they're going to knock it down. Surprised to see the Braves on there. To no, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Number 10 is the Green Bay Packers. I'm not surprised by this, and I thought that they would be top five because there was this sort of feeling in the NFL when the Cow as the Cowboys have not produced Super Bowl runs and as the Green Bay Packers have been incredibly relevant with Aaron Rodgers showing, God, when he is out, it just shows how important he is to that team and to the NFL and to the Green Bay Packers just as a whole. My thing with the Packers is when they won the Super Bowl and then they were good until Rodgers was injured this year, many people were saying that this is the new America's team. The Packers are America's team. Clearly, they're not. They're not the most searched team. And the Cowboys, again, it's unfortunate what happened with Rodgers. 
but they're number 10 on this list. So is there a team that we missed? Obviously, a lot of European fans are going to say, oh, what about Arsenal, Manchester United, and Barcelona, Real Madrid? This is an American-themed list, though I will do a European list in the near future. So leave a thought in the comments section below. Subscribe to TYT Sports. I love you. See you soon.